Uh, this device has been put together to show on the screen the picture of sound waves or pressure waves as they travel from the source uh, of sound up to your ear and then uh, are in interpreted by your brain. Now sound waves radiate out from a point much like when a pebble is dropped into a pond. Now, each sound produces a uniquely shaped wave of high pressure peaks and low pressure troughs as it travels through the air to the listener. So the peaks and the troughs are the vertical part of the wave and the movement of sound from the source to the listener is the horizontal part of the wave. If you're studying maths, the vertical, the vertical part is the, is the y-axis and the horizontal part is the x-axis. So this model aims to pick up and combine both of these parts the horizontal and the vertical uh, parts of the wave. Alright, it has a source of sound, that's, that's the loudspeaker, uh, connected to a radio. Uh, now, a revolving mirror provides the horizontal part of the wave. And a small mirror here connected uh, to the speaker moves up and down to form the vertical part and a small laser light is used to, um, to follow the, these combined movements so be, by combining the two of them uh, a moving picture of the sound waves coming from the speaker can be projected onto the screen All right, firstly the horizontal with the revolving mirror that's the x-axis and now the y-axis we're giving a signal to the loudspeaker and we're getting we're getting the vertical part of the wave now we're going to put the two together and there we are, we've got um, direct flights from Melbourne to Darwin from 159. Book now at And that's the representation of the uh, of the sound wave that you're listening to. Now just When lots of sounds are involved, such as when an orchestra is playing, the waves from each individual sound combine to make a very complicated wave, wave uh, like you see on the screen. But fortunately the brain's able to sort these out and, and recognise the individual parts that make up the sound.